the leaders and representatives of some 50 Asian and European countries as well as the European Union and the ASEAN Secretariat have held a second day of these so-called plenary meetings as well as what's supposed to be a sort of more informal retreat, although I'm not really sure how that works when it's virtual. But we did get the text of Chinese Premier Li Keqiang's speech, and he really made a clarion call for upholding multilateralism through the international system with the UN at its core. He said that the trust and collaboration between Europe and Asia has strengthened immeasurably over the past 25 years since the first ASEM summit meeting in 1996. But he called for more collaboration, more exchanges in education, in cultural spheres as well, to boost understanding between the two continents. And he, Chinese Premier Li also urged the countries that as they look forward, that when they look at economic growth, they don't just look at it in terms of numbers, but they look at it, look at it in terms of quality too, making sure that it's green, low carbon, and equitable. And basically, these are some of the themes that we've heard repeated throughout this summit, this obvious emphasis on multilateralism. And it has to be said that really the pandemic has not been multilateralism's finest hours, with countries slamming their borders shut and then scrambling on their own to try to procure vaccines to protect their own populations. Clearly, very understandable under the circumstances. But the message from this summit clearly is that as the world seeks to emerge from the current challenges of the pandemic and then to move forward and rebound from the pandemic, the only way to do that properly and quickly is through the multilateral approach, through countries, regions and continents working collaboratively and collectively.